What's up guys? It's your friendly neighborhood Spango from FullTechPodcast.com. Today we're going to talk about the Ryzen 5950X. I've had it for about a year now. Yeah, of course, there's nothing in this. I just like the box. So 5950X. And when I think about it, I upgraded from a 3700X. Uh, so, let me just tell you, this CPU is nuts. And I'm going to start off with a story that I've done this year that I didn't know I was doing. And that was because uh, I was you messed up my train of thought, huh? I'm about to cut this. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, at the beginning of the year, I switched out my processors and I didn't change uh, the the cooling, and the air cooler just went out as soon as I put it in. It just was it's like it wasn't cooling; it was shutting off weird stuff like that. I took the cool uh, the little cheap air or, or water cooler I bought and exchanged it out good move by me because it was just dry so I don't even know if it was cooling so then I decided to get a Nocta D15 air cooler and I actually actually did get a uh, Kraken for it but I haven't put it in because I'm waiting for my new case to put the Kraken in um, so I got the 5950X and I got the Nocta D15 and that D15 has the biggest pr uh, cooler I've ever seen on it and so the, the D15 cooler it's the only thing that saved that processor <laughs> from from my and I was getting the weirdest issues. Like I was playing a game and it would get like over a hundred frames and then it would just it never would go anywhere. Like I, I thought a 3070 Ti and a 5950X would just dominate games and it just was running really really strange and I couldn't figure it out. And I finally decided to get my computer down. I was like something's going on. Didn't have the pin connectors plugged in all the way. I had three pins plugged in but not four the four that it needs to run properly since then this computer has been balling like let me just tell you it plays every game almost perfect it, it, it just it's crazy that the fan wasn't working and it was still gaming okay and that's what was driving me nuts is like it was still gaming good enough and i was just like maybe it's just my resolution it can't push it the 3070 3070 3070 ti i just couldn't push it but this processor is balling and i'm gonna show you some gaming footage after this to let you know how it runs on the 5950X. So the first game, and I'm sorry if I'm not, I mean, like the horse, actually got sick right after I recorded the first part of this video. Anyway, trying not to sound too stopped up. First game is going to be Quake Champions. And in Quake Champions, you want to try to get high frame rate. So that's why I got the resolution scaled down. All these shadows are down. And as you see here, we got the 3070 Ti and the AMD 5950X. We got like over 400, 500 frame. And this is on 1v1. One on, one one. Now, when you play Team Deathmatch, it's going to be like around 200 to 300. But getting 400 frames on this is crazy. Crazy for a game like Quick Jack. I mean, look, this stuff's low. Look how good it looks. And that's you know, very certainly TI is playing a part of that too, but um you get, this game requires a very powerful processor too. Like it's almost more important to have a high processor or faster processor than a video card. Video card important, don't get me wrong. Round but one complete. Really Round begins in fast ramp three. Look at this. Two, 500 frames. One. I need Round yeah. two. So I can probably tinker around with it and get it to look a little better. But that's what you want in this game is to have high frame rate. And the 5950X definitely delivers that. Just be sure to get the fast RAM with it. And a good video card. A good video card is going to play a part in it, of course. But I uh, found that upgrading CP really, really helped Quake Champions. So on to our next one. All right, so Call of Duty is definitely one of those games I started noticing because it's a brand new game and it just came out not too long ago uh, that the, something was wrong, going wrong with the processor because it would go down to like 30, 40 frames per second. I was like, there is no way this game is running this bad with this setup. So again, check your fan uh, plugins whenever you're building your PC and don't be like a dummy like me. Like even... Even like the menu here, it, it stays at 125 FPS, but in game, it's just it's going to stay there, and you're going to really, really. So again, Call of Duty really pushes uh, 
pushes your system. I will say that. Because it's really, like, I want to be at 240 hertz with my monitor. And it's only getting 120. Which is really good for Call of Duty, though. I will say this is running buttery smooth. I can't even tell the difference. And the game is phenomenal. Running phenomenal. Look how, I mean, the kind of frame, I can't even tell. It's dropping or anything. That's how good this game is. Now, I don't know if upgrading my processor would actually help or GPU in this game, but I do know that whenever the processor wasn't cooling properly, it was running extremely bad and it felt just terrible. So, I mean, you can't get much better than the 5950X. You can, but where's the benefit at? I don't know. I think this game is really great for pushing this game at 100. 20 frames like this game doesn't run, this game is not meant to run it for 240 hertz i don't think it's like some games i mean it probably should but i wish i could get it there i probably could with some tinker but is it worth it i don't know i think playing call of duty just playing that it's playing really good i mean look at the cpu time that's extremely fast i don't i don't know how much how much better it can get i can't tell the difference I probably could if it was at 240 hertz or 240 FPS. I don't know. But it's already running so smooth, I can't tell. Let's take a look at the graphics, what I got right now. Uh, borderless quality. I mean, stuff's, stuff's on high. I mean, you can put everything low, maybe get there. Stuff's already on low. Some, I mean, some only affect the graphics. Well, there's VRAM. Yeah, like, uh, maybe it's the 3070 Ti, not being able to push the 1440p resolution. I don't know, but, I mean, 100 frames on Call of Duty, I think that's really good. That's a lot better than a console would have ever dreamed back in this game. Let's put it that way. On to the next game. All right, guys, so for the next game, we're running with a classic tactical shooter, Counter-Strike. We're going to play Counter-Strike Go. And we're going to see how many frames we get. I know this is a very popular game, but I'm not playing it in a long time. But uh, just to show you the frame rate and how well this game works on AMD 5950X compared, paired with a 3070 Ti, this thing absolutely blows this game away in frame rate and just gameplay smoothness. So I think it's kind of ridiculous how well this game is. Now, it looks like it's at 300 frames. That's kind of incredible for this game. 399 frames. <laughs> uh, it must top out at that. I don't think you can go past that. It would probably break something. I don't know. But as you can see, just following this around and we'll get a good, better look at it with uh, me actually playing the game. Right now we're falling. Let's get shot in the face. Shot it. <laughs> Bruh. All right, so Smango is ready. I don't think I have any. Throwing a Molotov. I don't think I have any money to buy anything. But we're gonna try AK. Throwing flashbang. Molotov out. Throwing smoke. It's been a long time since I played this game. Throwing smoke shield. Uh -oh. People over here. There's one, uh, two ramp, two ramp. We got one headshot. Cheers, Mike. I don't know how that was a headshot, but it was. Grenade. Team's this way. Let's go this way. Ramp here. Got one. Got him. Definitely helps if you have good frames in this game, I will say. Oh, I got a headshot. Anyways, guys, 
I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this gives you a little clarity of what the 5950X is capable of. If you don't mind, please follow me on Twitter at the Smango. Check out my website, fulltechpodcast.com. And we'll see you guys next time here on Full Tech.